the White City in London, Sidney Wooderson, Joe Binks, Gunder Haig and Pavo Nermi, four of the world's greatest milers, tour the track to give this year's meeting of the British Games a fitting send-off. Haig, holder of the world's three-mile record, chats with Field Marshal Earl Alexander before athletes of six nations get down to business. All set now for the 100 yards. American Joe Schatzel quickly takes the lead. Britain's Brian Shenton is close behind. Oluwo, a Nigerian, is there, but Schatzel romps home five yards in front of them all. The 100 yards in 10 seconds, a magnificent performance. Now the top event of the day, the international mile for the Emsley Car Trophy. In the early stages, a German challenger, Lawrence, takes the lead. Behind him comes the British trio, Chatterway, Nankiville and Piri. Up to the halfway mark, the order is still the same. But watch Gordon Perry, number 39. He's one of the most expert tacticians in the game, and he's just waiting for the right moment to make his challenge. And here it is. As he comes past Lawrence, American Santee piles on the pressure behind him. It's turning into a battle of the giants. Santee opens up. He's passing Perry. But maybe that's just part of the Perry plan. They've still quite a way to go yet, and Perry's matching Santee's stride for stride. Now comes the moment the crowd have waited for. Perry puts in a terrific burst as they come into the last stretch. Side by side, they battle for the lead, but Perry's still got that extra bit in reserve. He's passing the American. The 22-year-old bank clerk from Croydon wins the mile of the century. Already established as the fastest six-miler in the world, Piri is not satisfied yet. His next goal is to win the world's three-mile record for Britain.